Granite Creek Copper is exploring the Stu Copper Gold Project on the shared traditional territories of the Little Salmon Carmax First Nation and Selkirk First Nation. Welcome to the virtual property tour for Granite Creek Copper. Granite Creek is listed on the TSX Venture under the symbol GCX. Granite Creek has assembled the second largest land package in the Mental Copper District, perspective for high-grade copper, gold, and silver. Granite Creek Copper is a member of the metallic group of companies. This brings experienced team with a track record of discovery, and each of the companies in the metallic group has been able to assemble a large brownfields land package and has been able to quickly advance that towards resources. Granite Creek is pleased to be working in the Yukon, one of the world's best jurisdictions for mining and exploration. Yukon government is very supportive of exploration. Granite Creek was able to use the YMET program to leverage government capital in our first field system. Granite Creek Stew Project is located between the Mental Mine to the north and the adjacent CarMax project to the south. Zone A, located in the center of the Stew Project, is identified by approximately 5,000 meters of drilling, completed by United Kena Hill Mines in 1980. At the time, roughly 20 to 30 percent of the core was sampled. Granite Creek is currently resampling the core and completing our database. Last year's field program focused on multi-element geochemical surveys to advance the project and identify drill targets. That led to this year's sampling of further areas on the property and the resampling of core from 1980 drilling. Granite Creek's current resampling program of the historic core and geochemical sampling is going to be used to further drill targets for a potential drill program later on this season. We believe that success that we have in our STU project combined potentially with the resource at CarMax makes a compelling investment scenario. Now we're down here at the core shack of where we're reprocessing the core that was drilled in the 1980s by United Kino Hill Mines. Um, we're, what we're doing is we're trying to see if we can improve the grades that was achieved then and the reason we think we can is we know that they were using an in-house lab and that their detection limits for gold were very high. So our hope is that we're going to be able to increase the value of the gold in the rock as, as we go through. And they only assayed about 20% of the core at the time. Now they did assay the best mineralized stuff, so we're not expecting huge jumps in that, but what we're going to do is we're going to get a much better look at the various uh, indicator minerals and all the data that you need to really understand your deposit. We're bringing our database up to standard um, that will allow us to develop a resource and develop a drilling plan as we focus on the A zone at STU and seeing if we can bring that up to a 43101 compliant resource. The Stu Copper Project and the uh, CarMax deposit uh, to the south and adjacent to us uh, have very favourable infrastructure. Um, we're very close to paved highway, I think about uh, less than 20 kilometres away, and grid power at the same place. Um, off the Free Gold Road, there is a road right into the centre of the property, so we are a road access project. The Free Gold Road is part of the Resource Gateway Project, funded by the federal and territorial governments that shows strong commitment to developing this part of the territory. Once you get to the capital city of Whitehorse, it's a two hour drive to the village of Carmax and another hour and a half drive to site. Along the way, you can see the grid power and the excellent infrastructure for the projects. Yukon is blessed with excellent infrastructure with access to a year round ice free port at Skagway, where currently the mental mine ships are concentrate. Roughly four to five hour drive from the Stu project and any development that occurs here. The 
Minto Copper Belt is a string of deposits and occurrences running from north of the Minto Mine uh, down to south of the Comax Copper Deposit. Our Stu Copper property is located between those two and shows characteristics of uh, both. This was a very nice zone and historical values running from about three to six percent. And here you can see the malachite, the copper oxides. And then this one you have azurite, another copper oxide. This piece has both oxides and sulfides. So you have malachite, calcopyrite and bornite in there. These samples with the high grade copper also contain significant gold and silver. You'll see gold values running from 4 to 10 grams per ton and silver values running from uh, 15 to 50 grams per ton. And this is quite a nice mineralized piece. Uh, this would be probably the closest we've seen to rocks at Minto, uh, where they also have very strong potassium alteration. Sulfides have higher grades. That is one thing we'll be looking for in our planned uh, drill program, is aiming for more of the sulfide. Uh, 2020 program at uh, Stew Copper, we are re-logging and resampling old core from the 1980s drill program. We're taking these really old, uh, this really old core and we're running a lot of modern uh, technology and collecting as much data as we can on it. So we use uh, machines that will help us identify alteration minerals. They will also identify the uh, magnetic response of the rocks. And this all gives us more information the information we're gathering this summer, uh, we will be using to plan future drill programs. Granite Creek acquired the Copper North. The rationale for doing that is we recognize the synergies between the Carmax deposit and our stew property. We think by combining the two projects, we can get enough uh, material to make a very strong economic case. <laughs>